Dear friends, I am Dr. K. Kannan, Professor of Mechanical Engineering and the Coordinator of the Teaching Learning Center, Clare College of Engineering, Trichy. This is another lecture on outcome-based education and using the topic here is using the total quality management concept in the classroom teaching. So many of the engineering graduate, many of the engineering college teachers right now, you would have studied total quality management in your regular BE course. We have to apply one concept from TKM principles in the classroom teaching. So basically, quality, we define quality is meeting and exceeding the present and the future requirement of the customer on continuous basis. So for our teaching or any engineering college, the customer, the main customer is going to be the students. So earlier they were students, now they are the customers. Now total quality management, it is defined. It is defined as the management philosophy that sees to integrate all the organizational functions to focus on meeting customer needs and the organizational objective. So any institution, uh, we may have an objective uh, with a futuristic vision and the customer need, it is changing from time to time and we have to uh, address to the customer need and uh, organizational objective in the classroom. So total quality management is an integrated effort designed to improve the quality of quality, improve the quality performance at every level of the organization. So you know, and uh, we can take different cross section at every department or every operation inside the college, everywhere we have to uh, improve the quality. We have to implement the total quality management concept. So in the total quality management uh, subject, uh, we have studied one concept called PDCS cycle. So how to improve the quality of anything. So the main methodology is PDCS cycle, plan, do, check, act. So it was proposed by Edward Deming, the who is known as the father of quality control, he introduced the PDCA cycle, which is the problem solving process adopted by an organization engaged in continuous improvement. So what it is? Plan. So planning what you are going to do or, or what we are going to do, uh, whatever the uh, role we are playing, so what we plan. Uh, for doing. Then we have to do as per our plan. So we have to do what we said in our plan. Then we have to check whether we did it right. So we have, we have a plan, we implement the plan and uh, we check whether we executed the work as per the plan. Then you act on anything that went wrong to avoid the error of the same nature in the future. So this is the basic concept of plan, do, check, act. So how it is going to be useful for the classroom teaching? How this PDCA will be useful to the classroom teaching? So first we plan for our classroom teaching. First step, we have to plan. So we have a plan. So we, we should know what are all the uh, uh, components of the plan. So preparing the lecture notes with the details like a topic to be covered, learning outcome, lecture notes, assessment questions, and short descriptive questions, and the numerical problems. So this is what our uh, design of the lecture notes. So we, we have to plan all the activity. And you have to plan for the session plan. The template for the session plan is also shared in our college. We have to use the session plan, including the pedagogy that is the methodology of teaching and the whatever the activity you are going to use for a particular session. So activity is not, uh, uh, do not think big about the activity. Even if you ask 
a well structured quiz question inside the classroom that is also an activity so planning the pedagogy so methodology of presentation it may be chocolate talk or a ppt presentation or you can even use some video lectures from the nptel or any other interesting uh, video lectures available in the youtube uh, uh, pertaining to your uh, subject so planning the activity for the class so whatever the activity the quiz brainstorming or one minute paper three minute review so this is what the planning phase uh, for the classroom teaching then we do so teach in the classroom as per the session plan using the lecture notes we have to strictly adhere to the session plan uh, initially so once you once you do it systematically consciously inside the classroom as per the plan then it will become a habit so that in the future uh, you may automatically implement all the classroom all the components of the session plan conduct the activity planned for better understanding of the content by the students so activity will reinforce the understanding of the students uh, on the subject point give opportunity to the student to talk in the class by asking questions so you have to ask questions on the subjects or allow them to ask questions to improve their oral communication and again give opportunity to the students to write the answers or the notes in the classroom to improve their written communication so one important uh, problem with the present day student uh, they they are lacking uh, on the oral and the written communication the formal oral and written communication so we have to improve we have to give opportunity for them to improve these two communication skill inside the classroom then you check check whether the students are able to answer to the assessment question in the classroom in the lecture notes check whether the student able to write the answer to the short and descriptive questions in the lecture notes so give sample homework to complete their classroom task so check their internal assessment test mark so these are all the checks for effective uh, understanding or effective transfer of the uh, content lecture notes content to the students then what kind of act acting so give your feedback about the student classroom performance to make them learn better in the classroom so based on your test performance based on your observation you give your feedback uh, you better give the feedback privately not inside the classroom so sometimes it may hurt them so you have to give the feedback positive feedback in the present in the presence of all the students if something is wrong something some negative feedback or advices you do it privately redesign or improve your pedagogy based on your classroom experience the objective of teaching as per obe is to create learning experience among the students so the experiential learning will will help them to retain the information for a longer time and to promote lifelong learning so there is a po12 lifelong learning so that will be improved only when we implement obe concept inside the classroom so when you do it uh, repeatedly so when you prepare the notes for first time second time and third time when you revise so at one point of time so it will improve the quality of the notes and ready for publication so you may find a publication if you revise your quality of the notes improve the quality of the notes whatever you prepare as per the obe uh, that can be revised and improved so that it will be uh, ready for the publication so what is the inference from this lecture so what we what is the take away from this lecture so quality thinking in teaching learning process so we have to call we have to qualitatively think how to improve the teaching learning process inside the classroom as a individual teacher the quality of lecture notes preparation the quality of lecture delivery the quality of assessment questions the discussion and quality of all our personal and professional work so how to improve the qualitative uh, improvement of the uh, qualitatively the improve the quality of the teaching learning process inside the uh, classroom so what will happen as a teacher uh, when you improve the quality of teaching learning process inside the classroom so you may be aware united nations sustainable development goal to transform the world so they have they have uh, 17 goals for transforming the world uh, one among the 17 is four number four quality education 
as an individual teacher so you are contributing to the global global transformation the transformation of the world so through the quality education that is what we can do effectively so please think when you are qualitatively teach inside the classroom you are contributing to the world to transform the world so in the form of quality education so thank you for watching so if you have any queries you contact me so we'll discuss another concept in the next lecture until then bye